Hello fellow coffee botherers. In this video, I'm gonna be introducing a new simplified dialing in process for beginners to home espresso that I'm calling the dartboard shop window method. Just to make it clear, this video is for anyone who has a traditional espresso machine with a porter filter or is thinking of buying one. It's not for people using bean to cup machines, also known as fully automatics. And it's not for people using pressurized basket machines or pressurized porter filter machines, as you can't really dial in with those anyway. So if you're thinking about getting something like a Gadget Classic Pro or one of the Sage or Breville espresso machines, this is for you. First off, let's explain what dialing in is all about. Dialing in is another phrase for calibrating. It just means tweaking things to get the best results from the beans we're using. But, and this is key, what is the result that we're looking for? Many beginners think that the result we're aiming for is numbers, for example, a specific volume of espresso from a specific weight of coffee in a given time. This isn't the result we're after. These are simply rough guides towards getting the results we're after. So if it's not numbers we're aiming for, what is it? If you said perfect extraction, kind of, but what is perfect extraction? Obviously, the answer to this is taste. We're calibrating or dialing in to get the best tasting shots of espresso possible. But this isn't what most people focus on, especially beginners. Most beginners end up being focused purely on numbers, mainly shot time, and in my opinion, this steepens the learning curve because often all isn't as it seems when you're focusing on the numbers. It's also worth noting that most of the numbers that beginners end up following where extraction is concerned come from professional barista training. Professional baristas are using very different gear to the setups most beginners are using. So even if these numbers are a good guide when using commercial setups, they're not necessarily appropriate when using domestic or prosumer setups. But fear not, I'm gonna make things much more simple for you to get great tasting espresso. Okay, so we've clarified what the goal is. Good tasting shots of espresso. And we've also clarified that all the numbers you'll have heard that you should be aiming for are just guides towards this, and they're not the goal in and of themselves. Themselves. But let's just further clarify what we mean by good tasting shots. A good tasting shot isn't a shot that tastes good to me or to anyone else, it's a shot that tastes good to you. And this is why I think this simplified method I'm sharing makes so much sense, because most home baristas, when they start out, don't have the kind of palate that they probably will have much further down the road once they're seasoned home baristas. So what this means is that their palate in many cases is going to be easier to please at this stage than it may be in a year or two's time. Just keep this in mind as we continue and this method will make a lot more sense. I started out with a £100 used Gaja Classic back in the day when you could get a used Classic for 100 quid, paired with a Hario Skirton manual grinder and a cordless drill. And I was happy as a pig in muck with the espresso I was making to start with. I wouldn't be happy with that espresso now, but what does that matter? It worked for me then, and I upgraded my skills, my gear, and my palette at a similar rate. The main number that I think causes this confusion is the shot window. There are others that I'll discuss in future videos, but this is a main culprit in my humble opinion. So what is the shot window? The shot time or shot window is the total time taken to pull the shot of espresso and it's from when the water comes into contact with the coffee, so it includes the pre-infusion time. The problem with the shot window is it's needlessly small for home espresso and especially for beginners. The two main shot windows you'll find are 25 to 30 seconds or 28 to 32 seconds. And as you'll know, if you've already begun your home barista journey, a four or five second shot window is tiny. And there's often just no benefit in aiming for this tiny shot window for a couple of reasons. For one, as I've mentioned, most of us don't have the palette to detect the difference in the shot when we're just getting into it. And secondly, a difference of a few seconds in shot time often isn't going to have anywhere near the same impact on taste with entry-level home setups as it might with high-end prosumer setups or commercial machines. There are people tearing the hair out and throwing perfectly good shots of espresso in the sink without even tasting it because there are a few seconds either side of this shot time when actually it wouldn't have made a difference to them in terms of taste. In some cases, achieving the commercially accepted shot time may be almost impossible and would result in really poor taste in espresso even if it were. So what's the solution? The obvious solution for beginners is to make the target much bigger. 
And I'm calling this the dartboard method because I came up with an off-the-cuff analogy for this in one of the demos I did on the Express Impress. I would highly recommend extending that window to between 20 and 35 seconds. So instead of having a five second shot window, give yourself a 15 second shot window just to make things easier for yourself. I think a good analogy is if you were learning to play darts, the first thing you'd do is try and hit the board. You wouldn't try and hit the bullseye. And I think this works quite well to explain the idea behind this solution. If you're just getting into home espresso, you're going to make things very difficult for yourself by aiming for a four to five second shot window. So as a beginner, make the target bigger. Aim for the board, not the bullseye. Instead of aiming for such a small shot window, widen it to 20 to 35 seconds and then be led mainly by taste. Even with this much wider window, I still wouldn't be overly focused on the shot time. Just use it as a guide and ask yourself this question with each shot. Am I happy with the taste? If the answer is yes, why mess around because of a rule someone else has set, which probably doesn't really apply to you anyway. And if the answer is no, ask yourself, why don't you like it? And take the appropriate action as described, depending on whether you think it's over or under extracted. So to recap, if you're just getting into home espresso, aim for the board, not the bullseye. Make things much easier by widening the target shot window from the usual four to five seconds to a 15 second shot window of 20 to 35 seconds. And regardless of the shot time, if it tastes under extracted, sour, work on upping the extraction. And if it tastes over extracted, bitter, work on reducing the extraction. Don't dial in by numbers, dial in by taste. Use numbers as a guide, but make things easy for yourself while you're a beginner, aiming for a target you have a chance of hitting. Yes, by the way, to anyone watching this and thinking I'm oversimplifying espresso making, I am, that's the goal, to make things as simple as you can to begin with. Especially since most people won't be able to detect any difference in the cup from making things much more complex anyway. I'm going to be creating other videos on simplifying the espresso making process, including a video coming very soon dispelling the most common myth where the dose is concerned. So make sure you're subscribed and allow notifications to see that when I've uploaded it. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to click the like button. The frigate bird can sleep while flying, which begs the question, what the heck is a frigate bird? And let's be honest, I'm only introducing this pointless fact because I wanted to say frigate. I've no idea what that's got to do with clicking the like button, but click the like button anyway, frigate. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not click here to watch another one? And don't forget to become an official coffee botherer. You need to click this image around here somewhere of my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.